Good morning. So today is Saturday. It is the day that I promised I would announce the weighted blanket giveaway winner. So I will stay tuned for that. I will be announcing that later in the video. So today is the day after Haiti's birthday. Haiti turned nine yesterday, which is April 3rd. And we, of course, could not do as much as we wanted to celebrate her birthday. So I feel pretty bummed about that. We did try to have a really nice day with her. So we tried to have a nice bre breakfast with her. We had um, some gifts in mind for her. We, the big gift that I wanted to get for her, I wasn't able to get. It's the Nintendo Switch. We're still looking for it. I did let her know that we're going to get it for her because she definitely deserves that. So hopefully she'll get that soon. We had ramen since she had really been wanting ramen for a little while. So we did take out ramen and we watched movies. Just had a nice time. I went in search of um, Tres Leche Cake, which kind of was a fail because she had been wanting that. And the one that I got, I guess, wasn't the best tasting. So that sucked. And she, she likes to bake. So she helped me make a gluten-free cake as well. So Christian had some gluten-free cake. So it was a nice time, but I, you know, I just feel a little bummed that I couldn't give her as much as I wanted to. Today would have been the autism um, walk for Grant to gift um, and we do that every year and it's such a good time and unfortunately of course that was cancelled so I'm feeling a little bummed out it's kind of hitting me again and I think we are gonna go off-roading a little bit to just clear the clear the fog in our brain and hopefully we have a good time Christian is a little bit gr grumpy still hi grumpy butt hi <laughs> I guess we all are kind of grumpy. I feel a little bleh. So I hope this helps. So like I said, we came off-roading and we brought our secret, secret weapon that we're hoping will help Christian because if you guys remember he's always had a hard time and starts crying when he has to pee because he doesn't want to pee out here so let's let's see if it works he's already impatient look papa we got you a toilet <laughs> How are you liking it? Christian? Corazón? Mírame, Christian. Christian. Mírame. Is this your favorite thing to do? Go off roading? If you had to choose between hiking and off-roading? Nah. <laughs> um, probably hiking. Really? Still? Wow. I, I like A good exercise. So attempt, our first attempt for Christian um, to use the toilet out here did not work out at all. He was crying. Maybe like what, an hour later? Like an hour later, he finally gave in after a lot of pushing and prompting. And he earned a banana, huh, Papa? You did it, good job. Guys, guess, guess where we are? And you could tell. We're, we're in the desert. We're in the desert. Ooh, Nothing but sand. Butterfly. Yay. I'm so happy he went. You? You see, he finally, we were kind of forced, not forcing him, but we were like, he needs to go because he was crying. But when he really couldn't hold it anymore, he started pulling down his pants, huh, babe? All right, so after we got home yesterday, the day kind of went away from us. We watched Onward. It was a super cute movie. Did you like that movie, Hayden? Oh, yeah. Onward? Yeah? Your hair and your neck. 
<laughs> so we watched the movie so now it's the next day we're gonna go off-roading again because clearly that's all we can do and we need to get out of the house and hugo is obsessed with it and haiti so what we thought we would do is we would, we're gonna make our own DIY mask. DIY mask. So we're gonna use this for now. I know that this isn't the best material, but for now, more than anything, this is for the dust that's gonna be in our faces when we go off-roading. But we are gonna try to do different masks for, you know, when we go grocery shopping and things like that. Uh, so Haiti wants to go ahead and show you guys how to make this easy mask. Fold it first all the way. Mm-hmm. No, two. Too much. Too much. Hang on. One more. And you could do one more. All the way? Mm hmm So then, what then, do you do? Then you need two ligas. Uh-huh. You put them in here. Mm-hmm. How close do I put them? I'm about, like, right here. So this one right here? Mm-hmm. That's good. The other side, we have to put them a little bit, not too close to each other. Like that? Mm-hmm. First, you need to fold them right here. Mm -hmm. Then you have to tuck it in. Yes. How do you tuck it in? You put it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you tuck it in. And then you pull the ligas out. So find your ligas. You pull it out. Mm -hmm. and now you place it on your face. I can't. Ugh. Am I doing it right? Mm-hmm. There you have it. Mm -hmm. Cute. Okay guys, so it's time to choose the winner for the weighted blanket giveaway. This is super exciting. It's gonna be one winner, so let's see who the chosen one is. All right, so it's time to choose the winner, so here we go. Best of luck to all of you guys. Let's see who we get. And the winner of the weighted blanket is... The winner is Mara CR. Woo! Thanks for sharing. Amazing work as usual with both kiddos. My son has recently been very overstimulated before bedtime, so he may benefit from this specific blanket if we win. Yay, Mara, congratulations. Mara, congratulations. We're really excited for you. I hope this blanket really helps your kiddos. Um, go ahead and email us. I will leave our, our um, email down below in the description box. Email us with your information so we can go ahead and send this weighted blanket your way. Uh, once again, congratulations. Really happy for you. Hopefully, we'll be doing more um, giveaways soon, so keep an eye out for that. We're really excited just for uh, more fun videos for you guys with this um, with this social distancing, it's a little hard for me to feel motivated to record, but I will be trying to do more videos uh, for you guys, so yeah. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you guys real soon in the next video. Bye.